Quizzes is a fun multiplayer activity that allows you to assess your students knowledge in just a few clicks. Normally you play quizzes in class with each of your students having a device. But did you know that you can also assign quiz is, quizzes as homework? In this video I'm going to show you how to do that using Google Classroom. So I've already gone ahead and logged into my quiz is account and I pulled up my dashboard with my quizzes. This is the quiz that I want to assign as homework so I'm going to click on it to enter it. You'll notice that you have two options. Play live means that you'll play the quiz with the students in your classroom live. If you want to assign it as homework you'll choose the homework option. The first thing you need to do is assign a date and a time by which this quiz needs to be completed. You'll also need to scroll down and look at your question settings and your game settings. You can change any of those that you wish to be changed. Remember these are just simple toggles so you click on it to toggle it on and toggle it off. When you're ready you'll click proceed. Then you'll see an option right here in the middle to share on Google Classroom. We'll go ahead and click on that. If this is the first time that you're doing this, it may ask you to connect your Google Classroom account to your Quizzes account. Go ahead and follow the steps to accept the, these um, prompts there. Since my class is already created and connected, I'm going to go ahead and choose the class that I want to share this quiz on. Once you do that, you'll, ask, you'll be asked to choose the action. You can either assign this as an assignment, you can use it to ask a question, or you can use it for an announcement. Remember that a, an assignment in Google Classroom has a due date and will be added to the student's Google Classroom calendar. An announcement does not have a due date. So you can decide how you want to assign this to your students. I'm going to do make an announcement, and I'll click go. It will then um, allow me to make any changes to this, but it does a really nice job. It tells you that the due date is an assignment in the in one day. Click the URL below to join the game. So I think it really does a good job of putting out just instructions for your students. I'm going to go ahead and click post. And that will be then added to my stream of my Google Classroom. I'm going to switch over to a student account so that we can see what that looks like. And we'll go ahead and update the stream. There is that announcement. Um, the due date is in a day and click on the URL below to enter the game. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the URL to access Quiz Is. It will ask me to enter my nickname if I haven't already been to Quiz Is on this device. I'm going to go ahead and click Join Game. As soon as it finds my avatar, it's going to take me into the game and ask me the questions. So I'm ready to click Start. So it's going to give me the countdown. And after the countdown, it will present me with my first question and answer choices. Remember with quizzes, the faster you answer the question, the more points that you get if you answer it correctly. It'll always tell them the rank and the number of points that they, ans that they received. So as a student, I would continue going through the quizzes, the questions, as they are presented to me. Just like when I'm doing a quizzes in class with my classmates, at the end of the quiz I am presented with my rank, the number of points that I earned, and my accuracy. And if I scroll down, I will be able to see each question in the quiz, if I got it correct, or if I answered it incorrectly, and what the correct answer is. I love that about quiz is. If we switch over to the teacher account, how does this look on the teacher side in quiz is? If we take a look up at the top here under my reports, you will see the quizzes that you currently have running or the completed quizzes. In this case, because this quiz isn't due until tomorrow, it's still running. If I click on view, I will be able to see the students that have answered the quiz so far. I'll be able to see the number of players, the number of questions. If I click on players, I'll actually get a breakdown of each of the students that have already taken this quiz and how many points they received as well as how many questions they got correct and how many questions they got incorrect. If I were to download this Excel spreadsheet, I would actually see each student, how they answered each question and whether or not they got it right or whether or not they got it wrong. So using that homework feature in quizzes can be a powerful tool.